madam, here's your dirty martini. I don't want dirty martini. No, you I want, want that. You want this one. You want the strong drink. Hi there. My name is Dave, and today we are making cocktails. Actually, two cocktails. Uh, the first one we're going to make is a dirty martini, and the second cocktail we're going to make is called a sidecar. Uh, Actually, the Dirty Martini is Jennifer Aniston's favorite cocktail. You might remember her from Friends. Uh, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. All right. <laughs> What's your favorite party drink? Uh, a Dirty Martini. Uh-huh. And it's actually a very easy cocktail to make. And all we need first is some Martini and Rossi. This is a dry, extra dry vermouth. And we only need approximately one shot of this and then we need the most important ingredient vodka and i like to use real russian vodka um, i think it's a smoother type of drink if you use this stoli stolichnya type of russian vodka so like that it's very easy to make first of course we have our martini glass and we have our shaker of course, everybody knows this as shake and not stirred from 007. So, we're gonna put approximately half a cup of ice in here. And then we have our dried vermouth. And like I said, we're gonna put in one shot. So I have my jigger here. One shot in there. And then, of course, our vodka. Put in one shot of vodka. And then, we shake. for about maybe 10 seconds. Okay. So we shook that up really nice. Now before we put our cocktail into the glass, like I said, we're going to make a dirty martini. So in order to do a dirty martini, we need olives. And we need olive juice. So this is a brand new bottle of olives and what we want to do we going to put in approximately one tablespoon of olive juice into our glass let's put that in there like so and then of course it would not be a martini without olives put two just like so so now we have our little olives in there. And then we're gonna pour it in. Okay. Hope I'm not blocking. So we have our dirty martini. And you can know it's dirty because it's a little bit brown inside. That's from the olive juice that we gave into it. Gives a little bit more of a tart type of flavor. Okay. 